Okay. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you, everybody? Good evening. How are you today? Good. Okay, so we have Lenora, Mauricio, Clarissa, and Luis. All right. We have Jennifer coming in, Sara, Godofredo, all right. One more minute. I'm gonna try to leave the majority to come in. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hello, Larissa. <laughs> Good evening. Hello, Roger. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Ceci. Okay, we have just started. Mauricio coming in soon. Okay, we have. They're coming in. All right. Okay. Okay, everybody. So we're gonna start now because we have a lot of things to do today. Uh, let me see here. Let's look at this one. Let's see something. Okay, so here's where we stopped yesterday, right? Now we're gonna go to the knowledge check. We have a listening exercise, and then we're going to have the practice in the small group. Okay. Okay, good. So in this practice, we have some people waiting. Okay, now the first time you're going to listen is about one minute and something, I guess. And after that, you're going to listen again and then you're going to give me the answers, okay? Now, listen. 
Good evening. I'm Al Rivers. KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay, good. <clears throat> Now there are four uh, four sentences for uh, that we have to to complete, and we have to select one of these four options. We have Michelle is going to the gym, celebrate a birthday, meet a friend, go shopping. So what is Kevin going to do? What is Robert going to do? And what is Jane going to do? Okay, listen again, just for the practice of your ear. Okay, the listening. And then after we are going to complete the sentence. Okay, here we go. Okay. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay, good. What about Michelle? What is he going to do? Uh, meet a friend. Meet a friend. Okay. Meet a friend. Okay. Meet What about Kevin? Kevin is going to play video games. He's going to play video games. Play video games, okay. Robert? Robert. Work at home. Work at home. Work at home. Work at home. Okay, work at home. And what about uh, James? Listen to music. Listen to music. Listen to music. Okay, good. Now let's see the answers. Okay, good. Good. Good and good. Okay. So then here we have affirmative sentence. Okay, Michelle is going to meet a friend. Kevin is going to play video games. And Robert is going to work at home. And Jane is going to listen to music. Okay, so if we submit it, we will see that we have 10, 33 out of 33 points. Okay, good. Then this is the, for the listening. 
and affirmative sentences. Now we have another one, which is by the end of this class, we will learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans, plans by reducing going to. Okay. Um, what is the expression that we say in Spanish for going to? What is the translation of going to? For example, yeah. uh -huh. Es algo que vamos a hacer. Uh -huh. uh, but going to exactly is? Iré. Mm, not exactly. Going to. Voy a. Voy a, right? Okay, that is uh, in Spanish, right? And in good Salvadoran, in buen Salvadoreño, what is the translation? When we reduce. I, I, idea. Mm, no, eso es de mejor español todavía, right? <laughs> Iré. <laughs> but uh, when we say, buen Salvadoreño, ¿cómo es? Voy a, voy a ir. Va. Va, uh -huh. va, o. Iré. Mm, no, that's, that's nice. That's Voy. Nice. Buir. Okay. Yes buir, no? buir. Uh -huh. Okay, sometimes we, get, we say buir, right? Well, in English, it's some, there is something similar. Okay? Hay algo similar. What is the, the reduction for going to? The correct form is going to. That's formal. But informal is... Who knows? Yeah. Gonna. Uh, what? Who said gonna? Go. Yeah. Ah, Maurice. Maurice? Yeah. Okay. So. We say gonna, right? We say gonna. Okay, it's similar to Spanish. It's informal. When we say a ver, it sounds very natural, uh, very, very informal, right? So, but we don't say we're in a meeting, right? In a reunión, no se nos sale un we're, right? Ahí hablamos, voy a ir. Okay, o voy a hacer, voy a llamar, okay? So then this is something similar to that. Okay, now listen to this video, I mean, and uh, pay attention to the pronunciation, right? Right. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation, pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal, and if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English, and pay attention to how your favorite TV program in English. You'll hear gonna. Okay. So if you see uh, the they said a video, for example, you're gonna listen to Gona and probably a, one of the most difficult things in English is the pronunciation, of course, right? The, the fluency. Okay, so here the practice is are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna? Okay, when, remember that when you have going to is gonna. El gonna incluye el to. Are you gonna? Yeah, after, van a oír un verbo. Are you going to have a party? Eh, no. I'm going to go out with a friend. No, I'm going to go out with a friend. 
Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Okay? Now, let's see, uh, Mauricio, would you please read these two sentences here? <laughs> Are you gonna. going to have a party? Okay, using gonna. Uh -huh. Are you gonna to have a party? Okay. No, I am gonna to have the good friend. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go. Okay, remember? Uh, I'm gonna go out uh -huh. with with friend. I'm gonna go friend. out with a friend. Recuerden que el tú va incluido en el gonna, right? En el gonna that we use. Okay, thank you. Godofredo, Godo, this two. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna have? Um, are you gonna have our party? No, I'm gonna grab my friends. I'm gonna go out with my friends. Okay, I'm gonna go out with my friends. Okay, Roger. Hola, a question, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, el go y el out es get out o go out? Go out. Go out. Go out. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Get uh -huh. out es, eh, eh, es otro verbo similar, pero depende del contexto. Okay, porque go out es como salir a pasear, salir a por un paseo o algo. Pero get out es como salir. Incluso puede ser pesado en algún momento, puede ser ofensivo cuando alguien dice get out aquí, sálgase de aquí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, go out es más, digamos okay. que más para, como, para salir a pasear. Let's go out. Salgamos. Okay. 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 Question, estamos? teacher. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh, yo sabré? tengo una duda. Question. Uh -huh. este, a mí no me queda claro cuándo utilizar going to y ahora el gonna. Ok. Vale. Es lo mismo, solo que por lo general cuando escuchemos hablar, esta es la forma escrita y por eso les hice yo la, la analogía con español a veces que nosotros decimos voy a ir. Por ejemplo, eh, uh, we're going to go, vamos a ir al café de Nick o a la cafetería de Nick. Pero a veces eh, cuando decimos voy a ver, decimos, en vez de decir voy a ir, decimos voy Entonces el going to aquí es gonna. Es la pronunciación de una manera, digamos, como más eh, coloquial, una manera más este, de la vida diaria. ¿Okay? Cuando habla la gente, por lo general va a escuchar usted que le dicen gonna go. We're gonna go. Pero es lo mismo. ¿Okay? Ya, pues aquí cambia la pronunciación al leerlo o al decirlo. ¿Ok? Thank you, teacher. Okay, so going to is the same, pero siempre va incluido el going to. Instead of going. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Okay, now let's see. Uh, what's your. Mauricio Perez. The other two. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Okay. Are you going to. Um, Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Uh, yes. We're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Cafe, okay, good. Thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, sabemos que coffee in English is cafe, right? But coffee is lo que nos tomamos, okay? Y cafe es una forma, es como francés. El francés dice vamos a ir al café. El café es como la cafetería, o así como que, here, like the coffee shop. ¿Cuál es el otro que tenemos acá? Eh, eh, Starbucks. 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 Starbucks está el like café, right? Entonces, pero estos ya son más populares, el café en, en Europa son como más, hay más privacidad, okay? así como las coffee cups que hay aquí, creo. Así se llama, coffee cup. Eh, then there is a little... But you can buy a snack, you know, se puede comer un snack y tomar una taza de café. Okay, this, this is the place, este es el lugar, café, right? Not the coffee that we drink. 
Okay, good. Uh, Alfredo, this too. Hello, Alfredo. Alfredo Lopez, are you there? No? Uh, yes. This is the permitting. Okay. Are you gonna to go to the restaurant? Are you gonna go to? The uh, restaurant. Okay. Yes, we gonna to go Nick Cafe. We're Nick's gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Cafe. Okay, very good. Ricardo, I'm gonna change a little bit. Ricardo Vega, this two. Number one. Okay. When is she going? Ah, uh, ocupo el gonna or el gonna? Yes. Two. Gonna. gonna. Okay. When is she gonna be there? Okay. The answer? She's gonna be there in a the few hours. In a few hours. Okay, good. Uh, Abigail, number two. Where is they gonna go to go? Okay. Uh, she's going, no, she's gonna go to the store. Okay, very good. Dinora, next one. Number three. Uh, how are you gonna get to work? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the bus to work. I'm gonna take the bus to work. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, let's see, Larissa. Four. Uh, why is, is he gonna to be late? Uh, he's gonna um, he's gonna to be late because his car isn't working. Okay, good. Okay, remember why is he gonna? Okay. Ah, why is he gonna okay. be late? What is he gonna be late? Okay, why? Why? Sorry, why is he gonna be? Why late? is he gonna be late? Exactly, that's the word. Why is he gonna be? Okay. Gonna be? Good. He's going. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's gonna to be late because he's gonna. He's, he's gonna. He's be. gonna to be late because his car isn't working. Okay. When you say okay. gonna, uh huh. And, and and the, okay. Or gonna or going to. Mm hmm. Okay. Repeat. He's going too late because his car isn't working. Isn't working. Okay, okay. good. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Number five. Um, how much are they gonna pay for their for? Furniture, furniture, For, furniture. Uh -huh. They are gonna pay uh, two thousand, two thousand, two thousand for their for fortune. Furniture, furniture. Okay, good. Sara, where is Jenny gonna to lay? Like, gonna leave. What is gonna, leave. gonna leave? Uh -huh, gonna leave. Gonna leave. Jenny is gonna leave is Chicago. In Chicago. Thank you. And Chicago. Very, very good. Excellent. Ceci. Next one. Seven. Yes, seven. Se Who are you gonna go out with tonight? Okay. I am gonna go out with my friends tonight. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, Joseph, number eight. Number friends, what gonna do? What gonna do? What is gonna do? Uh, Joseph, number eight. Uh, what is he gonna do? Mm -hmm. He doesn't know what he's gonna do. Excellent. Okay, uh, Roger. 
No, number nine, bro. Yes. What what time is movie gonna start? I don't know what time what time the movie is gonna do gonna start. Gonna start. Okay, good. And Kevin, number ten. When are they gonna finish the project? When are they they're Excuse mm -hmm. me? No, no, it's okay. They are gonna finish the project by next week. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Very good. All right. So then, now that you have an idea about this pronunciation, this is just for you too. Okay, what are you going to do tomorrow? I pasted some uh, questions here. Okay, that you can answer. You see, I put here, what are you gonna do tomorrow? What are you gonna do after this, this class? Are you gonna go, are you gonna visit your aunt this weekend? Are you gonna watch television tonight, okay? And then you can answer the questions like, I'm gonna work at home, I'm gonna play a video game, no, I'm not gonna visit my aunt, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch, if you're missing it, if I tell you, it's okay television tonight. Ok, eso es lo que ustedes tienen que hacer, right? Contesten estas preguntas, así como Edgar has done here. Ok, contestenlas todas, y en eso les va a dar more practice, ok, more practice for these questions. Ok, ahí las vamos a estar revisando. Ok, and make comments if necessary. Ok, good. This is for the practice and pronunciation. And then it said by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holidays. This is what we did yesterday, but I'll show you this video. And after we're going to practice in the group. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holiday in the US. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the US. New Year's Day. January 1st. Valentine's Day. February 14th. Independence Day. July 4th. Halloween. October 31st. Thanksgiving. Fourth birthday in November. Christmas. December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day, it's going to be on February 14. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, no olviden silenciar sus micrófonos, por favor, cuando no estemos participando para que no interfiera con el, con el sonido, okay? Okay, teacher. Please, please. Okay. Hi everyone, in this class you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, good. So 
So then now, okay, now we're going, let me see, we have 21, so we're going to have like five groups. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh, sorry. Este, ¿Por qué va el B después de going to teacher? Eh, ¿Cuál ejemplo? Eh, depende. En, es, en el ejemplo de los días festivos, uh -huh. este, después del going to va el B, pero no comprendo eh, este B en este lugar. ¿Me puede explicar, por favor? Sure, 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 sure. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. Okay, all right. It's a Valentine's Day is going to be. But el going to significa? Sí, el plan, ¿verdad? Va a ser. Uh -huh. Voy a, va a. Entonces, uh -huh. be que es? El verbo to be es? Pero ser, estar. Ser Pero. o estar. Entonces, el día de San Valentín va a ser en February. In February. ¿Cuándo okay. va a hacer? Uh -huh. Hacer no de do, porque hay una, un ser uh -huh. de ser y está el do de hacer. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí puede poner, it's going to be, when, uh, when is your birthday? My birthday is going to be, mi cumpleaños okay. va a ser, no a ser. Ok. Ok. Sí, 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 uh -huh. sí. This is the form. Ok. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Perfect. No problem. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Okay. Then, uh, now, you're going to go to the groups and then you're going to practice. First, the dates. Okay? For example, when is Valentine's? When is Independence Day? When is Soldier's Day? When is Mother's Day? And then you're going to use in the answer, remember, Mother's Day is on May 10. Okay, remember this, on May 10th, using the preposition, the month, the day. Okay, and then you're going to use, when is your birthday, when is the Christmas, when is a doctor's day, when is the, what else, the labor's day, todas las fechas importantes, right? Then, and after that, you're going to practice questions with plans. Are you going to? Are you going to play soccer on Sunday? Are you going to play soccer this weekend? Uh, are you going to study English tonight? Are you going to work on the platform uh, tomorrow? And then the answer, yes, I am, and no, I'm not. Okay, this kind of questions and vocabulary is what you're going to practice. Okay, so I'm gonna make the groups and after I will be visiting each group Okay, to see if you have questions in the small group. So we have five groups. Yes, five groups. Here we go. Okay, accept the invitations. Hi, Emmanuel. Did you get the invitation? Hello. Hello, Emmanuel. <coughs> oh, Mauricio. When when is your birthday? 
my birthday birthday is on March twenty third. Okay. Uh, Roger, when okay. is your birthday? birthday? My birthday is on May 21st. Okay. Marvin, uh, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on December 8th. Kevin. Yes. When is your birthday? My birthday is on April 7th. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Roger, are you yeah. going to breakfast tomorrow? Uh, yes, I am. Eh, creo que ahora preguntaríamos, por ejemplo, una fecha de una celebración, por ejemplo, when is Valentine's Day? Uh -huh. ah. okay. um, Roger, when is, when is Valentine's Day? Um, Valentine's Day is on um, February uh, is February 14th. Que a mí no me quedó claro ni nada. Okay. Questions, questions. Okay, I said teaching. Okay. 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 Dinámica. Vamos a usar uh -huh. el CONA y me imagino que vamos a preguntar sobre los días festivos de aquí o, o Yes, cuál. we're going to use, for example, when, when is, uh, let's say, uh, when is Valentine's, okay? Mm -hmm. Or, uh, for example, uh, when is uh, Independence Day? When is your birthday? Okay, when is, uh, when is Christmas? Okay, and practican la fecha, okay? When is Christmas? Christmas is on December 25th. Okay, mm -hmm. when is, uh, let's say, um, okay, let's see, when is Soldier's Day? It's on May 7th. Okay, when is your birthday? My birthday is on uh, August 24th, okay? And after, when you, when you finish all these questions, then you can practice with, are you going to, uh, the movies this weekend? Are you going to travel to Mexico this year? Yes, I am. Yes, or no, I'm not. And you can use gonna, right? You can use the contraction. Uh, the reduced form. Are you gonna? Are you gonna travel this year? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Okay? Okay. No okay, teacher. No problem? No problem. Okay, practice. Okay, practice. And I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay. I am gonna invite my father to a restaurant. Only that. Um, tenía que ser específicamente para fechas. Yo lo hice en general. Ah, no hay problema. Yo, ¿por qué? Lo hice con la fecha exacta. Okay, no questions, sir. Can anybody? Anybody has a no. question? No, no, teacher. Everything is clear. Yeah. Okay, good. After you practice the the dates, okay, you can practice the uh, con uh, con practicar planes, right? Plans like, are you going to? Are you going to study English tonight? Um, are you going to read a book tomorrow? Uh, are you going to do exercise tomorrow morning? Okay, and then you say, yes, I am, no, I'm not. So you can use gonna, right? And are you going to cook tomorrow, Jennifer? Uh, yeah, I yeah. am. 
Yes, I am. Okay. Elizabeth, are you gonna are you gonna wash your clothes tomorrow? No. No. I'm not. No, I am not. Okay. Ceci, are you going to are you going to go to Santa Ana volcano tomorrow? No. No, only in the picture. Ah, yes. <laughs> Pero fue hace bastante. Yes. Not tomorrow, not tomorrow. Okay, and no. Manuel, are you going to play soccer on Sunday? Emmanuel? Are you going to play soccer on Sunday? No, I don't. No, I'm not, okay? Emmanuel is blessed among women, okay? Bendito entre las mujeres, eh? Okay. <laughs> blessed, blessed among women. Hey, thank you. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, okay thanks. Perfect. Uh, okay, boy, I'll see you in a minute. Um, yet, it's early. Okay, any questions? Anybody? Any questions? Um, yes, and how was, como se dice, teacher, Dia del Niño? The child's day, child's day. The child's day. Child's day, okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, good. No problem with the questions. When is, all right? And after you can practice, the pueden practicar con planes, right? For example, are you going to watch a movie tonight? Are you going to take pictures tomorrow? Are you going to, uh, you going to chat uh, tonight? Uh, are you going to buy a new cell phone? Are you going to buy a new car? Are you going to travel? Okay, or are you gonna? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sure. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mayo es holiday porque conmemoran el día del trabajo. I see. Pero así que soy yo. Okay. Teacher, estábamos eh, como eh, un compañero nos confirmó que sí, de que este no cambia el verbo cuando, cuando usamos el going to, aunque en este caso estemos hablando a diciembre, solamente es un plan, no vamos a cambiar el verbo, siempre lo dejamos en en su presente. forma, ajá, en base, ajá, por ejemplo, are you gonna, for example, are you gonna travel in December? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you going to, are you going to buy a car in December? Yes. Are you going to, uh, let's say, are you going, are you going to study in December? Yes, it doesn't matter. No importa si es en el futuro, right? Um, are you going to study English next year? Okay. So mm -hmm. are you going to study? El gonna es el va a, and then study is, Ella siempre hace estudiar, jugar, como, como una forma infinitiva, ¿verdad? Right? Estudiar. Ya si fuéramos a contestar que si estamos seguros de eso, ahí sí le cambiaríamos el, el verbo. Eh, dep depende de la respuesta. Porque usted puede decir, yes, I am. Are you going to study next mm. year? Yes, I am. Y si es larga, yes, I'm going to go. Por ejemplo, are you going to study English next year? Yes, I'm going to study English next year. Entonces, mm -hmm. ahí sí es igual. A menos que usted quiera hacerlo, que sí se puede. O sea, ya cuando uno hace una conversación, se sale de la gramática. Y puede decir, are you going to study English next year? Of course, I will study English next year. Mm -hmm. Ahí sí ya puede decir, por supuesto, voy a estudiar, estudiaré inglés. Okay, then you can use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that is a, yeah, it's a different level of conversation. Right? In this, en este momento que estamos tratando de acostumbrarnos y practicarlo. Pero sí es factible. Okay. Teacher, disculpe, yes. cuando respondemos, ¿por qué decimos yes, I am? Pareciera como que se dice, sí, yo soy. Ah, yo okay. estoy. Por ejemplo, ajá, es que depende de la, de la pregunta. Es una respuesta corta y como la, al inicio va, are you, por ejemplo, are you Silvia? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. Are you a doctor? Mm, no. Not. No, I'm not. I, no, I'm not. 
Okay, are you going to work tomorrow? Yes. Yes. I am. I, I, ¿Y por qué allá? Porque si es, eh, por ejemplo, are you going to work tomorrow? Es, ¿Va a ir a trabajar mañana? Yes, I am, porque estamos usando el verbo to be en la pregunta. Ahora, entonces, es como que sí voy a ir. Eso se interpreta, no se traduce, sino que se interpreta. Ah, ok. Como, sí voy a ir. Porque si, cabal, lo, ahí está en lo correcto usted. Pues, como no hay una interpretación, sino que usted lo ve y dice, yes, I am. Pero esta es la pregunta de si sí soy, si sí estoy. Ajá. Y aquí es como que sí voy, porque está respondiendo una pregunta de que va a ir. Are you going to work tomorrow? Okay. Va a trabajar mañana. Yes, I am. Pero lo está diciendo en forma corta. Yes, okay. I am going to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. okay. Teacher, a question. I yes, have a question. Eh, cuando se hace pregunta, are you, por ejemplo, en primera persona, también se podría utilizar, como está explicando, am you, o no, se, no existe. No. Lo, cuando no. se pone, is no, you, ah, okay, okay, o no. am you. Ok, se puede hacer, o... yes, sí, sí, sí. Am, pero eso sería como, am I, que es una pregunta a sí mismo. Ah, como por ejemplo, ah. Am I going to finish this course? Eso lo puedo hacer como filosofando ahorita. ¿va? Am I going to finish this course? Voy a terminar este curso. Mm, no, I'm not. It's not in my plans. Okay. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am going uh, to finish. Sí, se puede, pero a uh, menos que, por ejemplo, eh, que ustedes ya sepan, ¿va? por ejemplo, digo, am I going to be here tomorrow at nine? Am I, am I going to be here tomorrow at 9 p.m.? ¿Qué me respondería? Uh, repeat. Am I going to be here tomorrow at 9 p.m.? Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, yes. I, yes. Yes. Yes, I am. I, I, no. you. Yes. Yes, you do. You are. Uh, you are. You are. Porque estoy contando de mí. Am oh, I yes, going? Yes. Ajá, ahí es donde se da. Se yes, you are. Yes, you are. Ajá. O sea, ¿voy a estar yo aquí mañana a las nueve? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Uh -huh. Am I going to be here tomorrow at nine? Yes, you are. Okay, for example, uh, then you can say, are you going to be here tomorrow at nine? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Eh, otra pregunta. Mm -hmm. El R se puede utilizar con todo eh, las las personas, es decir, no. he, we, o no. solamente con you. You, we, you, they. Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay. Ah, sí, para sí. he, she, it, yes. Ajá. Yeah. Para, y para I, es am. Am I, is Rocío ah. going to, is Silvia going to, is Godofredo going to, Are you, los cuatro, ¿eh? are you, uh, are Rocío, you. Abigail, Silvia, are you going to, si me incluyo yo, are we going to, ok, y solo are they, Rocío, se puede utilizar, y digo solo Rocío y Abigail, are they, are Rocío y Abigail, going to, are they going to, ok, okay. aquí depende Thank de quién you. estemos hablando, ok, now we're going to go back to the groups and see what the others have, ok, Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Hi. teacher. Okay, good. Now we are uh, 
Let me show you this. Just one more. Okay, this is related to, okay, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer WH questions using the going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, this link is related to that. Let me show you the video and now I'll see other questions. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using the going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing the conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, uh, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see in this new art. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is was. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject, you. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Okay, look, this is very important, right? Because uh, when you see this formula, como en matemáticas, right? Lo que se tiene que hacer nada más es sustituir palabras. For example, what? What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? ¿Qué es? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Pero si yo quiero decir, ¿dónde vas a ir? ¿Qué palabras sustituyo? What? Uh -huh. El what? For where? For where? For where? Where? where are you? Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Y el tú por go. Do okay. por go. Exacto, ¿verdad? Where are you going to go for Valentine's Day? If you see, si ven, eh, solo es de sustituir, oh, obviamente necesita práctica, right? Es bien simple, pero necesita práctica. Where are you going to go? Y si yo digo, ¿y cómo vas a ir? Como vestido, ¿no? O en transporte. How. How are you going to? To get. Get. Ajá, to get to the party. For Valentine's Day. Aquí ya le cambiamos un poco al complemento. Ok. What are you going to? How are you going to get? To the party for Valentine's Day. ¿Cómo vas a llegar a la fiesta? ¿Cómo vas a hacer para llegar? ¿Cómo vas a hacer para llegar a la interpretación? ¿Ok? Ahora, ¿con quién vas a ir? 
who? Can ask who are you going to, to be? Go? To go. Okay, see it. Con quien vas a ir? Who are you going to go with? Y el with se pone al final. Y en la traducción o en la interpretación se va para el principio en español. Va. Who are you going to go with? Con quien vas a ir? Who are you going to dance with? Who are you going to, uh, to walk with? Who are you going to play with? Okay. Con quien, con quien, con quien, con quien. You see, this is important, this is structure. Ya les mandé esto ahí al chat, estas preguntas acá. Lo que quiero que escriban para mañana, eh, una pregunta por lo menos con what, where, how, who, que esas las vamos a practicar en, el, en, el, en los grupos. Ok, escriban ustedes la pregunta y esas las van a hacer a sus compañeros ahí en el grupo. Eh, pueden utilizar de estas. que Están acá, les voy a dar el link. Creo que esto está en la web. Sí. Teacher, yes, sir. Can you can you add me through the WhatsApp group? Eh, recibió el es que lo, eso está en un link. Yo, yo no soy administrador, este, ah. pero en el link eh, les mandaron en el, en el correo que les mandan. Ahí va la información y ahí dice que no, ah, no, yo no lo tengo acá. Este, ah. eh, pero ahí vi, ahí va el link donde dice cómo un, o sea, solo era tú y ya automáticamente lo une al, al grupo. En el correo, ah, todas las especificaciones, ahí dice uno que dice WhatsApp. Yeah, I see it. I got ah, it. They click on that, and then you are automatically in the, in the group. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Bueno, entonces, este es el link. Lo pueden copiar y de ahí pueden sacar muchos más. Este, ahí está. Ahí lo puso Jennifer también. Entonces, dele click ahí y ya va. También lo puso Roger. Okay, thank you. Ahí está el link. Perfecto. That's teamwork. Trabajo en equipo. El teacher tiene una, una pregunta. Cuando se está seguro del futuro, se usa will or going to. Así es. Acuérdense que cuando estamos bien seguros de algo en el futuro, podemos decir, I will go to the movies tomorrow. Iré al cine mañana. I will, uh, I will uh, pay my, my credit card tomorrow. Okay, pagaré mi tarjeta de crédito mañana. Entonces, I will pay. Se puede decir también una forma de, de planes. ¿eh? I'm going to play. Voy a pagar. Son similares, pero el will va a sonar siempre como más, más, este, más eh, seguro. Okay? So you can use both. Okay. Any other question in this moment? No, no question. Okay. Please uh, don't forget. Uh, let me see. I don't have a question. No, I don't. I don't have a question. Okay, now this weekend I'm going to the beach. I don't have a question. I have a question. I don't. Okay, pronunciation reduction. Okay, here there are some other questions that you can use. Okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do after this class? Are you going to? Aquí hay 10 preguntas que las pueden responder acá. Okay, for example, what are you going to do tomorrow? Esto está en el 1.6. Okay. Yeah, what are you going to do tomorrow? And then you can write here. I am going to. Uh, sorry. I am going. I'm going to wow. I'm going to work. Okay. What are you going to do after this class? I am 
going to uh, what to have dinner and like that okay then ven la pregunta aquí arriba y las pueden responder acá okay so le va a dar un poquito más de práctica y y también eh, eh, hacer un poquito más de práctica de ir memoria del vocabulario que que casi no utilizamos Okay, everyone. So that's all for tonight. Eh, si tiene, cuando tengan, si les quedan dudas ahorita de algo, anótenlas y a lo más iniciar la clase podemos hacer una, unos dos, tres minutos a lo más estar ingresando de, de preguntas que tengan y así vamos solventando todas esas dudas. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Have a good night. Okay, right. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Thank you. Good night. Good, night. good night, everyone. Bye.